If you are someone who plans to be a student at University of the People or you are already a freshman but still not sure about how the study works in a week at your people, then this video is for you. First, I just want to introduce a little bit about myself. My name is Chang. I'm from Vietnam and I'm currently the second year student of Computer Science Special Degree at University of the People. As you know, I've already had some experience studying at your people so I really hope that my sharing could be helpful for you guys in your study journey at your people. The video is divided into two main parts. The first part is about the weekly study section, focusing more on how many activities and works need to be done in a week and what are they exactly. And the second part is about my study schedule to make sure everything is done well up to the deadline when I still could balance my work and life. There are basically six main activities in a week you need to do. They are peer assessment, learning guide, discussion group, reading assignment, learning journal, and then the quiz test. Before getting into the details, I just want to mention the internal platform your people use for running all the school activities uh, is called Moodle. Let me show you the website. So uh, basically all the teaching and studying activities are running in here. And that's what you need to get familiar with after when you enroll the first course at your people. In peer assessment, you gotta rate and feedback to two to three students' work from the previous week based on some category set. So normally, the peer assessment is always the first thing I work on whenever I start my study week. About the learning section, you actually need to read a lot of theories required for the week based on the instructor's guideline, like in the note or book or videos or even some links the instructor sent to you. When you are done with those two, the next section is going to be the group discussion. The instructor will raise the question in the discussion forum and the thing you need to do is to answer that question, then rate and comment to at least three other students in the class. I got a question from you guys in this channel about whether it's a live video class or how exactly all the students interact with each other or with the teacher. Well, it's actually not a live video. It looks like a chat box where all the questions and answers are in typing form. You can see it easily from my screen right now. So here's the instructor's question and here's uh, some responses you know from the students in the class right below and some people already commented on my you know answers yeah basically it's it's like a chat box it's not a live video after the group discussion, you could move to the written assignment where you must submit the written answer to the instructor's requirements. Here you don't need to interact with other students in the class like the discussion forum. And the assignment is more related to the core theory of the week. So you gotta read the knowledge really carefully to study for this assignment. In learning journal, the teacher normally asks you to write about what you've done during the week, what knowledge you learned, or how you could manage to achieve the knowledge. So it's more about your experience or your feeling after the learning week. I remember I got almost tens for this section, except for you know the only the first uh, journal of Java class. I just got an eight because I didn't meet the word count. So make sure you write enough number of letters as required. I think you could get all the tens easily. The last part is the quiz test. Even this one is the last one in the section order, but I normally do this before the learning journal so that I could put my experience with the quiz test into my journal writing. There are two types of quiz non-graded and graded. When it comes to midterm or final, it will be graded test, but the rest is just for reflecting your knowledge learned after a week. I think even with the non-graded test, you should take it still because it could support your knowledge understanding better. Besides, there are a lot of questions from the non-graded test that will be used again in the graded ones. Just make sure that you will take both non-graded and graded tests. It will all help. So they are all main activities you need to do every week when you become an actual student at University of the People. The deadline for the work of the week is 12 midnight every Wednesday. 
no matter what or when you work on the different sections you need to make sure everything is done by this deadline or you will lose some of your score or it could affect badly on your general study performance I don't have much free time on weekdays to study because of my working schedule so normally I start my study on Saturday or Sunday with reading all the theories if I could manage to comprehend the knowledge fast enough I would try to complete the assignments and the discussion question in the same day but if not, I would do that on Monday or Tuesday or even Wednesday right before the deadline it really depends. It depends on the workload and also the difficulty level of the assignment. I'm not trying to advise you to follow the same timeline like mine because I know we might have different work and life schedule. It's just some of my sharing here. Um, and again, I really hope that uh, you could get some useful information from my video, especially for the newbies when the new term is coming soon. Thank you so much for watching my video and I really hope to see you soon when I upload the next video. Bye bye!